All right, problem seven of the hydraulics chapter four homework is another normal depth procedure problem. So we have Mill Creek in Winston-Salem that's regulated by FEMA. The existing channel has a 10 foot base with three to one side slopes, an N value of 0.045, and it's on a 0.9% slope. If the 100 year flood is 800 cub uh, cubic feet per second, what is the depth and velocity of flow using the normal depth procedure? So let's go through the problem first and see what we need to know here. We've got a 10 foot base, so we're gonna call that our variable capital B from our uh, formula sheet here, where we define different properties of this trapezoidal channel. So we know the uh, uh, bottom width of the channel. And then we also know the side slope here. We're told that it's three to one, so that becomes our capital M value. We have our Manning's N that's given to us and a 0.9% slope. And then we know the overall flow Q here of 800 cubic feet per second. So we wanna figure out the depth and velocity and we're gonna start at Y equals three. And then we're gonna have this consistent width of 10 feet, our B is gonna be 10, so we can write that down a few times. Let's take a look at filling out our table here. Uh, first thing we're gonna to need to find for all of these different depths is our area. So we know that that B is always gonna be 10, so our area is gonna be 10 times the Y, and then the M is always gonna be that three, three Y squared plus three Y squared. Uh, wetted perimeter is gonna be that 10 base, plus 2y, and then this time our m is uh, 3, so 3 squared is 9, plus 1 is 10, so 2y squared of 10. So solving for y equals 3 and b equals 10, we get an area of 57, a wetted perimeter of 28.97, which gives us a hydraulic radius of 1.97, and that z average value, which is the area times the hydraulic radius to the 2 thirds, of 89.49. Now we want to compare this to a value called Z required, which we get from the Manning equation, um, talking about that area times hydraulic radius to the third. And in this case, my Z required, I'm going to follow that formula that it's flow rate times Manning's N, 1.486 conversion factor, square root of slope in decimal form. So my Q in this case is 800 given to me that Manning's N of 0 0.045, conversion factor 1.486, and then square root of slope in decimal form, so 0 0.009. And we get 255.4 for that Z required, so we'll put that up here for the value. And yeah, 89.49, much less than that uh, 255.4, so that is too shallow. We're gonna have to go deeper with that depth and increase that to get a better channel size. So let's go up by a foot here. So instead of three feet deep, we'll make that four feet deep. So now we've got an area of 88 uh, square feet. We've got a wetted perimeter of 35.3 feet, hydraulic radius of 2.49, which gives us a Z average of 161.8. Still pretty small there, still too shallow, 161.8, still less than that 255.4, so still too shallow with the four feet. So let's go ahead and increase that another foot. Let's go up to five feet now and see what we get. So five feet gives us an area of 125 square feet, a wetted perimeter of 41.62, hydraulic radius of three, and then that gives me a Z average of 260.19. So getting closer here, but now I've actually gone a little too high. 260.19 is greater than that 255.4. So I'm a little bit uh, too deep here. So we could go a little shallower um, if we want to try that out and uh, go ahead down to 4.9. But at this point, I'm going to say that uh, that is close enough there. We're going to stick with that number. But depending on how many iterations are called for, you could do another one um, or you could do another two. Um, but I'm just going to stick with the three iterations here. Lots of times that's what's going to be asked on your test or your exam. So I'm going to say that my uh, depth then is going to be y equals 5 feet.
for number 7. And then if I want to find that velocity, remember I can use that Q equals VA. I'll put that over here. Q equals a, a VA. So my V is going to be my Q divided by A. And remember my Q is 800 cubic feet per second. And then the area I can just take from uh, this problem. So I'll use the 125 since I'm using the 5 feet for my depth there, 125 feet squared. So that gives me a velocity of 6.4 feet per second at a depth of 5 feet for problem 7.